Hello everyone and welcome to Gadgets 360. Today I have with me the brand new Mi Watch. Now, this is called the Mi Watch Revolve Active and this has Alexa inbuilt. This also gets SPO2 tracking which is kind of the feature you need especially during the current situation. So let's go ahead, unbox this device and take our first look. Now if you're new here, I would recommend you to subscribe to the Gadgets 360 YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so that you don't miss out on such unboxings. Let's begin. So this is what the box of the Xiaomi Mi Watch Revolve Active looks like. Now, it's a neat box, but there it does mention that it has Alexa built in. So that is something new. That's not something that the Mi Watch Revolve had. Now there are a few key specifications right on the side of the box. So it's got a big 3.53 centimeter AMOLED display. So it's a 1.39 inch AMOLED display. It's got SPO2 tracking and heart rate monitoring. Now SPO2 tracking is something that was not available on the Mi Watch Revolve. It's good to see it here. 110 plus port modes, long battery life, 5 ATM pressure, automatic start and stop workout detection. That's good. Uh, not much on the back but yeah it does mention a 14,000 rupee price something that might be different when it's launched so let's go ahead and unbox the watch you've got two tabs on the side the first thing is the documentation you get a user manual on how to go about using the watch i'll keep that aside another documentation which says how you can set up and use Alexa. And now that brings me to the watch. So this is what the Mi Active watch looks like. Now these straps have a texture, if you can see it there. It's got a very fine texture, now something that I would expect on, yeah. So this is the texture. This is something I would expect on an active product. So it should be able to withstand use. Let's check what else do you get in the box. And this here is the charger. It's, I think it's slightly different compared to the Mi Watch Revolve. It's got magnets in it, so which ensures that it only goes the right way up. And as you can see, these magnets do help hold the watch in its place while charging. So I'm gonna keep the charger aside. There's nothing else in the box, so box aside as well. And then let's take a quick look at the watch. As you can see, it's a big 1.39 inch AMOLED display. It's got two buttons and this text is written on the display itself. It's asking me to pair the watch. I'm going to quickly do that. As you can see, it requires the Mi Wear app. So that is what I'm going to do. So show me where. It's a very easy pairing process. So you get a tiny tutorial on the smartphone as well. So you can use the up button to display apps and the down button to choose among workouts. Swipe left to right to switch between different widgets. Add the sleep widget on the app. So it seems there is an update for the watch as well. So now that the updates here, I'm gonna quickly update it before I start using it. Okay, so now that we have the update out of the way, we can take a look at the watch as it boots up. Xiaomi Wear app is something that is quite familiar. We've already checked it out when we tested the Redmi watch. But there are a few differences here, like you do have Amazon Alexa uh, as an option there because the watch supports it. While it is booting up, I'm gonna quickly show you around the watch. And see all the sensors are at the back. These are the two pogo pins. You've got uh, the heart rate sensor and the SPO2 sensor as well. There's only two buttons on it. One's for home and the other's a sport button. So I think this is how you can initiate workouts on it. The watch is quite light. It's about 32 grams. So it's quite lightweight. I think 32 gram might just be the dial alone. I'm going to show you through the UI as you can see, I'm quickly swipe, check my heart rate. This is for the stress level, no sleep data at the moment, temperature information, 
You can also swipe up from the home screen. And this is the quick control center. It gives you different options. This SP Auto tracking. Now, SP Auto tracking is something that we would expect on a fitness device, especially during these times. And the previous Mi Watch Revolve did not have it. I'm glad that the Mi Watch Active does. Now, as you can see, it does seem to be accurate. Now, given that for a Henley individual, the SPO2 level should be above 97, 95 rather. So it does look accurate there. I'm going to quickly run you through all the different apps that are there on it. Now, this does feel like deja vu. Uh, all the apps are very similar to what I've seen on the Mi Watch Revolve, except one. And that is right over here. So Amazon Alexa is something that this watch comes in and I'll have to set up Alexa in the app. The build quality is honestly very good and uh, I'm actually looking forward to testing this out. So I think after testing it for a week or two, I should be able to give you a proper verdict. Well, if you should buy the Mi Watch Revolve Active, that is. What is the weather like? Now there's no speaker on the watch which means that you're only going to get text replies so as you can see it does have the alexa assistant which makes it a little more easier to do different tasks on the watch so the watch has gotten smarter it has a little rugged look and it's also got spo2 tracking that is something that was missing on the mi watch revolve so that was a quick unboxing and your first look at the Xiaomi Mi Watch Revolve Active. Now, what do you think about this watch? Do let me know that in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.